Okay, and then we've got the piece here for the middle. Um, this is the stop card. All right, so let me get right, working. Guys, so I just finished the hair. This is what it's looking like. I would have to be careful if I wanted to wear it like this though, simply because this is a quick weave. So when I flip it over, we just want to make sure that the tracks aren't showing. You can also wear it just uh, flat and down as well. Just depends on your preference. I'll probably just switch it over, but yeah. Girl. Girl! Anyways, y'all saw how I had it. That's all right, guys. So I did get the wine package in the mail. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hide my address. All right, so this is what we got. So we've got a box here. Let's see what's inside. It looks like a wrapping of some kind. Looks like it's foil. Um, actually, no, guys. This is this is actually a wine. Um, there we go. It might be a wine opener. Cool. Uh, we'll get into that. We've got. Looks like they brought or sent um, wine tasting event note cards. And then it does have a ring to attach those together. You also got the One Hope booklet. And this is how it comes. So it's actually a holiday catalog. Got a few of their selections in there and probably just gives you a bit on the company and then this is that's our order form and on the back it's a little thank you note from one hope and then inside <clears throat> I don't want to lose that you've got so this is a little congratulations on beginning your journey with One Hope. And then you've got a book here. Um, <clears throat> says, we can't wait to pop a bottle of bubbly to celebrate your fast start success. And then this is going to be a One Hope getting started planner. So they send you an actual planner. It's pretty neat. <clears throat> Looks good. Let's see. So it looks like it just has recipes in here um, for you as well. It'll let you know exactly how much alcohol is inside there. You get a calendar as well. Um, you're able to use on a month-to-month -month basis. And then also, you've got the Hope at Home. This is another holiday catalog that you're able to, you know, give to friends, family members that you're going to have try to purchase from you. And inside of there is tons of stuff as well. So, you get a couple of books and then you've got an order. You've got your um, order forms here. So those are your order forms. All right, so I originally thought that this was the actual wine. This looks like it is the welcome packet. So once I actually receive the wine, I will um, bring that to you guys as well. So far, so good. I'm just gonna take my time tonight, um, have a glass of champagne, and try to read over some of this stuff. Hey, okay, welcome back to the vlog. It is Sunday. I am headed to the steeplechase um, horse racing. And 
so I'm going to take you guys with me. It started at probably 10 this morning and right now it is 101. The first race it starts at 1 actually, I think 1 or 130. And then you've got four additional races that'll go until 5 p.m. And then after that, it's pretty much, you know, you've got uh, tons of vendors out there where you can uh, purchase a variety of things. But um, it's fun times, fun times. So we are on our way and I will see you guys. We are once again. taking our way to parking. going to leave the camera in the car and then just use my cell phone to record any footage. Ladies and gentlemen, best turned out horse award for race number three went to number six, our Jente, Julio Herrera, the crew. Congratulations, $100 better off. Number three is Go Shout, another British import with two US starts. Thomas Garner rides this one, so of course, and they will take him at one safely, but Shaq will the field once again. Well, it's rather slow, and a good 15 weeks off the lead as they turn away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Here's Mama Quinny.
welcome back to the vlog. I am actually headed over to an appointment that I have this morning. Later on, I've got a dental appointment today, so I only have one work appointment. Um, however, I do need to stop, if not today, sometime this week to get some um, trays, takeout trays and some hands. So, I don't know. You know what? After I go to my appointment, my dentist appointment isn't until 1. After my appointment, I might see if I can go and try to grab that today. Um, that way, I won't have to worry about getting that later. I ordered, the last time I ordered some on Amazon... But y'all, like the styrofoam, the plates, everything has completely went up. Like the last time I ordered, I believe it was $35 uh, for 200 takeout trays. And then this time I went to just do a reorder, $46 for just the takeout trays. And that is 200 So if I can get into a store here locally i always try to do that i think now they went out up as well because it used to be like 15 dollars for 100 and i believe now it's 19 but even if i get two which is going to total the 400 and spend 40 dollars it's still better than spending 46 dollars for just the 200 so we gotta be frugal here honey even when you're shopping for your mom you gotta be frugal all right guys so i am now on my way i was right, guys, mission accomplished so now i'm gonna make my way back i'm kind of hungry i just don't know what i want to eat yet um, i don't know find something dentist. good morning guys i am getting myself prepared um, I have an appointment this morning, so trying to check my emails. I have a 9.30. I have a 11.15. A 1. And I've got a 5 p.m. So today is going to be a long day. However, today is going to be a $900 day. So, y'all know I'm on my shit. Okay, I'm just trying to just finish getting dressed. And right now, it is 819, so we're doing good. We are drinking our coffee. And lemon. Yo, I don't want to waste this shit. <sighs> oh my god. Y'all can't see, okay? You see the lemon? Okay. Coffee and lemon, y'all know. I'll probably weigh myself at the end of the week. And let you guys know if I've lost any more weight. But so far, so good. The coffee and lemon into bullshit okay if you're really looking i'm gonna use some of that <clears throat> i don't put this on my face because i tend to think that stuff transfers bacteria when you do it that way so i put it in the palm of my hand and then apply it to my face Hope everybody is doing good health wise and all and then I just follow up with a moisturizer I'm using the Olay today And I'm going makeup lists. I don't, I'm not going to put makeup on today. I don't wear makeup every day. So, um, it, 
I'm gonna go make up this. Alright. Um, I'm gonna need to stop to the bank for a deposit and then put those back. I've got a few units properties that I need my client to want over y'all this client still with all of the properties that she's viewed she has not found anything that you know tickles her fancy as of yet so got to keep sending them until they actually find something that they like because you definitely want them to be comfortable where they're gonna live and I always tell people the best time to ride any place that you're gonna move, you're thinking about purchasing a home, you're thinking about renting, is gonna be in the evening. That is when you will be able to tell what goes on in the neighborhood, what really type of neighborhood that you do have, um, and just try to feel out the vibe that you'll be experiencing living next to those folks. So I'm not rushing her. Um, just as she, you know, as she denied them and she'll say, I, we reviewed this one, but we really don't like it. I just send more, you know, um, because I definitely want my clients to be comfortable where she's going to be. She'll be there for what, three years. So maybe she might not want to move within that time frame. Um, hopefully she finds someplace and she, she doesn't become, you know, she has to move every year. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, other than that, that's about it for this morning. My 9.30 appointment is relatively close, which I'm loving. Um, it's only about 15 minutes away. So, and my 5 o'clock, which is going to be my last for today, is only 7 minutes away. <laughs> couldn't get a better day um, with the start and the end being two good uh, starting points in between they're a little further out but not far but like I said today is um, a money run day so I'm gonna make it happen All right, guys, so let me get my hair and everything done, and we will see each other in the car. So I have arrived at my first appointment of the day. So I will see you guys once I am done. So I am working. Headed back to the car. They're starting to make these apartments and uh, properties a little different, but it's starting to be sort of indoorsy versus having to um, elevators taking a moment having to just walk in from outside so see so they're making the units now whereas you have to use the call box before even entering the building, which I think makes it way more safer. Um, especially for women that live alone. 
perfect. So we are now headed to the house for a sec. I'm gonna hang out. The appointment went well. And it is now time for me to decide what I'm gonna eat. I might just make a quick salad at the house and call it a day. Or, you know what? I might just do a Benedict. Boil me three eggs because that will hold me for a while and then um, sprinkle some bacon on it with the cayenne pepper, baby. Uh oh, it's kind of dark because I'm traveling under trees. But with some cayenne pepper and some avocado, I think that's gonna be my lunch. That way, when it's dinner time, I can eat something a little more fulfilling. Besides, guys, I have, um, <clears throat> a toothache that's been bothering me and they're going to pull I think it's my wisdom tooth um, in the back when I went to the dentist the other day they were only able to pull one I would only allow them to pull one that day and then I'm gonna go back and have them pull but they've also got me scheduled to get my fillings I needed a couple of fillings and so I'm gonna have that done um, and then everything that needs to be done before I get my veneers I'm having them do that and then once I get to the point where I can do my molding then I'll do the molding process um, with you guys so that you can see if it's something that you guys are going to be interested in so until then I will so see I am back at the house however I just got information that there is a grant that's being offered and this one is actually going to be, yep, for small businesses. So small entrepreneurs um, that have just started their business. I don't know, maybe I'll start talking about the grants. I've actually, I normally apply for them. I haven't actually gotten a grant personally myself. I do know a couple of friends that have been selected to get these grants. You have to have all of your credentials. Like you need to be registered with the Secretary of State. You need to have, um, I, I have an LLC. I recommend an LLC, not a sole proprietorship. You need your EIN number. I have my Don's number. There's tons of stuff that you just need to get in order first for your business so that when these grants do pop out, you're able to apply. Don't just think you can apply for one grant and you'll get selected there's thousands millions of people applying for the same grants so you just have to be patient just apply 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 and you never know when you'll hit you know that's gonna be your turn to receive a grant I've had some people to get two or three grants at a time and that's because they're the amount of grants that they're actually applying for I apply here and there maybe that's why it's been um, a hit and miss with me but um, nonetheless, each time that they send it to me, I consider that as good, valuable information. And so I definitely do apply for the grants. Maybe I'll start bringing some credit information to the channel, how you guys can go about starting your business credit, getting all of that thing set up. Maybe we need to start from the ground up, get your business in order and then start moving up as we go there. We'll start with the net 30s, and then after you do net 30s, that's where you can start getting like your credit cards for your gas. Once you get your credit cards for your gas, after that, then you're at pretty much the tier three, so you'll start getting regular credit cards, whether it be like the Sam's credit cards, um, where you could actually spend anywhere versus just the cards that you're having to spend at individual stores. So there's um, tons of things that you know you can use that can be valuable um, to assist you in getting yourself up and off the ground. And the first thing that you just have to have is what? If you gonna sit there and be valuable to another place of employment that's not your company for eight hours a day, you can sit there and give yourself at least five hours a day, four hours a day, your own business, your own company, your time, okay? So putting the foot forward is what you need to do first, and after you do that, everything else will fall in line. Right, guys, 
So All my right, next appointment is here at the bank. I'm actually just waiting on my other client to show up and then we'll go ahead and we'll just walk inside together. So I'm just gonna wait on them to arrive. They should get here shortly. They're running a little late, so hopefully. Hey guys, so I'm on have to wait the way long. to my next appointment. We are in a little traffic. Not too bad though. But, um, looks like I've got maybe two more miles before I get there for a minute. So I'll see you in a second. We have arrived. Now I just need to find a park so that I can get inside the building so all right guys we are leaving my appointment is done and i am now going to be going downstairs here in a second i will see you guys with the y'all i am seeing things or did i just when i pick my phone up to leave is dolph dead did somebody kill dolph or did he is he was he sick let me let me get on instagram because first of all wait a minute they're saying gone too soon. I see Megan the Stallion has posted. Oh my God. Somebody must have killed him because it's the thing that people are saying. Like it be your own city that's most envious. They could have took anyone but Dolph. Oh my God. Are you freaking serious? Dolph is dead? Wow. Yo, I just posted up a post yesterday on my Instagram um, saying, you know, we don't know when our due date as far as death is going to be here. So make sure absolutely to live your life to the fullest because right now, shut it short. And the thing that's real short, it's time, baby. It's time. This world, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. I am shocked. I am shocked. I was not expecting that. I was hoping that I seen it incorrectly, especially when you're sitting down with people. I don't waste coffee on myself trying to look at it. And now I get in the car to find out it is true. Dope is dead. Ain't no goddamn way. There's just no goddamn way to just keep happening like this. This is ridiculous. Amazing moments happen so wow. much. Wow. All right, guys. I'll see y'all once I get um, back on the other end. I got to get baby girl um, picked up. And then I'm going to get to the house real quick. I need to send some documents back um, for these clients. They're actually on vacation. And... I also need to get prepared um, for my 5 p.m. I'm already got my stuff situated, but still I'm trying to do a couple of things before I even get to the 5 and the 7.40. Uh, client actually has me late for my next appointment. Um, looks like I'm going to be about 15 or 20 minutes late. Um, there was some issues with documents um, that they needed assistance with. So I am now just running to my last appointments of the day. I will see you once we get there. To grab something for dinner and then I'll be heading home. See you when I get there. 